Hello again, my name is Kyle Paulson, and this segment is on winch alignment. Again, please watch my introduction video before you watch any of my instructional videos. I appreciate that. Um, so on winch alignment, we're assuming that you have made modifications to your winch, and you are going to be able to anchor your winch properly so that it will not shift under any circumstances. This is critical. You don't even start winch alignment unless you know your winch is mounted securely. So, what we're going to do here is before, I'll give a couple little um, situations here, before you have even nailed your winch into the ground, um, you want to align your winch. And it's really very easy to do. I usually just use one of my long nails and all you do is you hold it up to the drum and you get it at 90 degrees to the drum and then you look up in, up the nail and you look to see where the nail is pointing it should be pointing exactly at your turnaround so this would be off obviously just get it straight give another visual again this is before you even nail your winch into the ground another visual uh, you could put a pole like this you get it at 90 degrees that might not look like it um, with the video camera but it is when I look straight down let's see if I can just straight down we are not looking at the safety bar we're not looking at the frame of the winch we are only looking at the drum and our pull and you look at the drum and the pull you get it at 90 come back look at your pull and is it pointing directly at the turnaround. If it is, your winch is aligned. In the next step, we will fine tune the alignment once it's under tension, okay? So now you would anchor your winch, put the nails in, whatever system you're gonna use to, to mount the, the winch so that it's not gonna shift. You go, you walk your lines. Doot, doot, walk the lines, okay, boom, that was quick. Lines are walked. So here we are, lines are walked. I've got a chute already tied on with the proper knot because we're going to load this winch up with a lot of tension and you, you know you don't want the thing to let go okay and we've got our spool on here now important even with a brand new roll of line when you start here you want the winch to, to begin wrapping perfectly cleanly and if you look at this it's wrapping perfect there's no gaps between the line. You don't want that because when there's gaps in the line, especially here on the left side, when the line wraps here, comes all the way back, it's under big tension right here. And if there's gaps in your line, it's gonna start cutting the line. It, your, the top line will cut into the bottom line. So you want a tight wrap from the beginning. And this comes back to before you even start, you do not wanna have excess line on your winch. And once you tension up a couple times, you might notice that you have a bunch of extra line. It's important to take that off because none of this is under tension. And because of that, when your line starts wrapping back across over it with big tension, it'll start slicing into the line that doesn't have tension on it. Every time you hear that snap, crackle, pop, that is not a good thing. It doesn't mean you have big tension. It means that things aren't aligned properly and the line is cutting between other lines. Every time that that happens, you're compromising the line that's below that top line, or you could even compromise the top line. So you cut off all excess line. Don't cut it too short, then you'll have tension on the winch, tension from the turnaround back to the winch, and Glauco will get mad at you. So just cut it the right, cut it the right amount, so that when, but when you walk the chute back, it pretty much stops just right there, okay? So, now that you've you have the line the correct length you're going to tension the winch up and you're going to make sure that it starts wrapping perfectly cleanly if it doesn't wrap it with your hand you could have twisted line i forgot to lock the winch rule number one safety so we're going to tension up and you're going to put quite a bit of tension on there you can see i wrapped a time and a half back the goal here is to get the line off the ground, almost all the way back to the pulley. So now the winch is mounted into the ground, you've tensioned up, you've already pre-aligned the winch, and now you're gonna walk 
out maybe uh, you know 30 to 50 meters away from the winch. You're gonna walk out far enough so that when you lift these lines off the ground to snap them, they will be completely off the ground all the way back to the turnaround. Um, you don't want them to be hung up on any twigs, anything on the ground, any of that. You make sure they're completely off the ground. So now what you do is you reach down for the lines and you need to know, I know that this is my ground and this is my air. And you need to know that. And you can know that by just looking back to the winch. Okay, come back. Now we're pointed back out to the turnaround again. You lift both, you take both lines. You pick up both lines. You lift them off the ground. I don't know if you can see this, but I've got these, you know, a good four or five feet up over my head. Shake them, shake them. Make sure they're not stuck on anything on the ground. And then once you've done that, you're gonna drop, I'm trying to see my camera here. You're gonna drop the ground line. And you let that fall to the ground. Once the ground line, once you've dropped the ground line, darn, did I zoom in accidentally? I did. Okay, I fixed that. Once you've dropped the ground line and you're still holding the air line, shake it. Shake the air line and make sure that it's not wiggling the ground line. Because if the ground line is wiggling when you're shaking the air, it means that somewhere down the row, somewhere down the row, the lines are twisted around themselves. And if they're twisted around themselves, I call that a twister, and that's gonna cause problems launching. So it's imperative that you make sure they're not twisted. And the way you do this again, both lines, pick them up, drop the ground, shake the air, Make sure the ground line is not wiggling. Once it's not, drop the air. Now again, this is all under tension. Now I'm gonna walk back to the winch. Everything that I just said about snapping those lines, very important. Please don't neglect that. The next step here, we're gonna lift the winch. It's under tension right now. We're gonna lift it and let the front legs settle into the ground properly to where they'll stay all day. If we don't do that, they could shift later under big tension. So the way we do that is just simply walk back. We're gonna pick up the winch. I can't do it with the camera, but you'd pick up both legs at once. You'd lift the winch and you'd let the winch shift and settle. Okay, it's under a lot of tension. Now you come back and here's how you see if your winch is aligned. If you did it right with the nail, it's hard to see with the video, but when I'm looking at the line, it's exactly at 90 degrees to the drum. There, and the line. 90 degrees. 90 degrees, line going straight back to the turnaround. If you've done that, your winch is aligned properly. If you need to make an adjustment one way or the other, while the winch is under tension, just loosen one of your adjusters and your winch will shift. Tend to, you know, loosen the one where it's gonna shift where the tension will pull it and that'll make it the correct adjustment for you, but you'll figure that out Get your winch set up properly And when this is at 90 degrees under tension when your winch is anchored properly You shouldn't have to readjust it the rest of the day If you do have to readjust it something's wrong the next segment that I'm going to do is going to talk about how wind will affect uh, the uh, you know it'll you'll you'll start to think that your winch is not aligned because when you come off tension with your airplane and you dive in the bucket you come off now you're only pulling the chute down through the sky there's no longer big tension and the side wind will be blowing the line the ground line and that could cause it to stack on one side of the winch or the other and so people tend to make adjustments and realign their winch because of this side wind. So what's important, and I'll give you a visual, is that your winch is, is stacking clean under big tension. And knowing the difference, okay, now you're off, and now it starts stacking on one side, that's because of side wind. That does not mean you need to realign your winch. That's a mistake to realign your winch. 
Um, it took me years to learn that and figure that out. So that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this helps. We'll talk to you later.